The Triple M Grill Team. <laughs> Turn Gus, MG and Matty on 6 till 9 weekdays. Day 5 of a desperate search for a missing toddler on the north, uh, mid-north coast has yielded no results. Increasing fears he may have been uh, abducted and met with foul play. Um, boys, the, the thing about this is the straight away the police went straight to known as sex offenders in the area um, and they've been contacted to confirm their whereabouts at 10.30am on last Friday. Enough is enough. I said yesterday it's time... A sex offenders register is introduced into Australia, and it should have been done yesterday. Um, pedophiles, uh, uh, they know where the kids are, but the kids don't know where they are, and that's the most scary thing about it. And yeah. A man who's gone to jail for his, his stance on pedophiles, um, and I, I think will be very, very outraged by this story as well, is Darren Hinch. And Darren, uh, we welcome you to the grill team this morning, mate. How are you? Mark, good morning. Good morning, guys. Hello, mate, Darren. Hey, mate, Darren. what... what we, we, we said yesterday, and we had callers saying, look, if, if, the, if we know where sex offenders are, that we'd, we'd harm them. Um, I suppose if they brought in uh, um, something, uh, some rule and regulation that says, if you touch any sex offenders without knowing they did anything, well, you're just as bad as them. But look, if, if you touch any sex offender, whether they did anything or didn't do anything, mm. you're committing a crime. That's right. I'm totally opposed to vigilantes. Yes. Uh, the only people I block on my page when they say, kill them, shoot them, yep. strangle them, castrate them, they lock them up and leave them locked up for a long, long time. In the United States, they've had a public sex register for 19 years. Wow. And in Texas, it says if you, you know, if you use this information to either damage a person or damage property, you will be charged. Yes. That's the way it should be. But uh, look, it's just common sense. I, I, I've now got 154,000 signatures on my, on my petition for a public register. Wow. And um, I've spent time with the Queensland Attorney General. I think that's the first state that we've got a chance of, of getting a register. But it has to be national. I'll give you an example. A couple of weeks ago, for, for my Hinch tube on, on, the, on the net, I, I found a, the, the information that a convicted sex offender who's been offending since the 1950s mm. was, had been quietly released into, back into the Melbourne community. And remember, for pedophiles, anonymity and secrecy are their greatest weapon. Mm. That's their greatest exactly. weapon. And he had been released back in the community secretly one block from a primary school. <sighs> And I tracked him down and, and interviewed him, bailed him up, um, and I talked to the coppers, and they said they could not even warn the primary school principal nearby or tell her <laughs> because of privacy issues. His Unbelievable. privacy issues. The world's gone you know? mad. Now, I've got a case I wrote about yesterday on my blog about in Queensland, in, near Caboolture, where a, a father is petrified because his three young daughters, aged 7 to 12, were victims that man has been released in the community less than 30 k's from where they live, and but they don't know officially if he has been released. They can't find out. And this sort of stuff, you know, it'd be published in their names, if photographs, vigilantism doesn't occur mm. um, in the United States because of the, the, the restrictions we've told you about. I'm not saying it won't ever happen. I'm not that naive. But, guys, it is just that, that tragic case you got in New South Wales. I mean, we did a jail to justice walk back in May from with the jail I was in, 180 k's to Parliament House in protest. And and eight, eight um, vic- family victims, the family's victims walk with me, including Daniel and Denise Morecambe. Now, their son's killer should never have been out of jail for what he did in, in, in Darwin in a mm, caravan park exactly. before that. So that was one issue. The mm. other one was nobody knew who he was or where he was. He, was, he, he was a, went to church and all this crap that they talk about. But um, What do the, the police say to you? What do they say when you say this? What, what's mm. the head of the police say when you say, look, it's common sense? But look, what, I, I, I've talked to senior coppers in Victoria, mm. and one said to me just the day before I went on the walk, we were talking about logistics, and he said, Darren, he said, um, we've got, we've got uh, 5,000 sex offenders on the register in Victoria. I think you've got 7,000 in New South Wales. He said, we're out there saying we've got a register. He said, we can't cope. Now, in, in the town of Ballarat, um, small town in Victoria, I talked to the local coppers there. They've got 126 registered sex offenders on their register. And what the senior sergeant said to me, if I visited three of them a day, I couldn't visit them all once a month. Wow. He said, he said and a local newspaper in Victoria tried to get a, um, even to try and find out the postcodes of where they were all living so you could see how many were in a certain ta- certain suburb, and they were told it was, no, I couldn't have it, privacy issues. Unbelievable. Hey, Darren, I'm of the belief, like a lot of people, I don't think these scumbags can be rehabilitated. They spend all this money, and, and you hear the people on the left side of politics say, oh, they can be rehabilitated. I don't think they can. I don't think they can in any way, shape, or form. It's been proven they're repeat offenders in, in just about every case. What do we do with them? 
Well, let me give you a question. I'll give you a bit of taste. I'll give you a test. I was being grilled by a woman on sort of like the uh, New Zealand version of our Sunday night program, and she said, you don't believe in rehabilitation. I said, no, I don't believe that. I've never met one who has been rehabilitated. And she looked at me, and I, then I said, well, hey, I said, okay, you're a mother. Mm. Would you let a rehabilitated pedophile babysit your child? Exactly. Wow. And she said, no. Now, look, if you put <laughs> them, if you know where they are, and in the States, you know, I, I could, I've got an app, and I tried this in Times Square, where you could go on your phone and punch in Predator. And instead of saying, if you punch in the word motel, and it shows you little flags where they all are, I stood in Times Square and punched in the word Predator, and up came, I think, 17 uh, living within about a, a kilometre of where I was standing. Stop. Now, <laughs> it didn't make me race out and want a firebomb or burn their house down. No. I just say so you can tell your kids, like, um, you, don't, 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 if your ball goes in Mr. So and So's backyard, don't, don't go, go in there. there. Yeah. Don't knock on his door for trick or treat at Halloween. Just the knowledge for parents to know, because I mean, these guys, their, their secrecy, I can tell you a couple of cases I looked at where a guy gets released from jail. They go on the web or they find it through local, local knowledge. They find out where a single mum lives. They move in next door. Oh. They offer to cut her lawn. They cook a barbecue. And then the day she's ill and says, he's, I'll drive your kids to school. Oh. No problem. Oh, wow. Well, 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 well. We've all got, all our stomachs are churning because it just seems common sense that we, as you say, look, we don't want to be, we don't want to be vigilantes, but we can say to our kids, mate, don't go down that street to the shops. Go well, the other I'll way. Say exactly. I'll say this, MG. I'll say this. What's the what's the lesser of two evils, vigilantism or 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 a child and generations but of a family the, being destroyed because of a pedophile? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Let me, it's let a me, no-brainer. Me quick, quick, quick example. I, I went to the United States to take this out, and I went in Texas, Pennsylvania, Florida. Um, Sarah Monahan, the girl, the Robert Hughes victim, and Hey Dad, she drove me around Texas, and she had an app and showed me, and she punched up a couple of names, and we drove down the street, and this guy lived there with an American flag on his, on his porch and a pickup truck in his driveway, and nobody's burning his house down, but she, she said she had a, an Australian exchange student staying with her, and just said to her, look, don't go down that street. Because this guy is a convicted sex offender, and his, his photographs there, and his address there, and his name is there. Wow. I, I met a sheriff in Florida, and he drove me around. And down there, they put signs, big red signs on the front lawn, saying, "Beware, pre- caution, predator lives here," with his name on it. But mm. I, I'm not pushing for that. But this sheriff looked at me when I told him about Australia, and he said to me, "Don't your judges and politicians have children of their own down there?" Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Yeah, it's right. common sense. Uh, yeah, you mentioned this pet- uh, petition you've got, Darren, with uh, so many signatures. Can we find that at uh, Human Head? Headline.com.au is the link to that there? It is, yes, and that is there. That is there. And look, just, just sign it. I said 154,000 so far. And, uh, we'll sign it, it today, Jim. It will Jim. happen. It, it's going to take a long time, but you know, I'm not dead yet, and I'm going to keep pushing until oh, we you do. Good, hey, mate, you look mate. far from dead, mate. You look at me, and although a couple of years ago you looked touch and go. Hey, I look like Rock Hudson three days before he died of age. The Grill Team, Gus, MG, and Maddie Johns. Triple M Breakfast.